Hi, good afternoon. My name is Avi Kiran, Marketing Manager at Management Technology Consulting. Today, I'm going to demonstrate you on MPC alerts for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Alerts basically allow CRM users to pass on critical information associated with a record to the immediate worker so that they can act immediately on the critical information and get things done easily and fastly. Alerts is mainly useful for a sales personnel who are required to work in a coordinated and uh, synchronized manner and who are required to work on hundreds of uh, accounts maintaining the track of information on those records and uh, also passing on the information from one team member to another team member. Alerts would be an apt solution for them to make use and pass on the critical information related to a record to the immediate person so that they would work in tandem and get things done easily. For instance, uh, let us suppose sales employee A uh, has been working on a account and all of a sudden he has to uh, go on a leave and uh, before which he uses alerts tool to some of the no to some of the notes uh, on that particular account and leaves the necessity uh, instructions for the uh, next person who is assigned to work on that record so alerts will help the next person to get an overview of what has happened on the account and what immediate action has to be taken to get things done. So you have alerts you know, pop up when you open a particular record and it uh, stays until uh, you know, it, uh, it expires uh, a, day, a date. Let's see how alerts work on Dynamics 365. What you see on my screen is a uh, Dynamics 365 instance with alert solution installed on it. You can download alerts from Microsoft App Source or MTC websites such as dynamicsexchange.com or mtccrm.com. After installation, you can find alert solution under all solutions page uh, just like this. Now, even before you can start accessing alerts, you are required to do some basic configuration settings on alerts, which I'm going to show you now. Click on alerts and alerts settings window pops up. Click on alert settings. This is the alert configuration page where on the left hand side you can see all the entities on which you can configure alerts. Once you select an entity and click on this double arrow, it appears on the right hand side which is uh, nothing but selected entities which represents the entities on which alerts have been applied. After you uh, do this, you are required to click on save button so the configuration settings would be saved. Now that I've already configured alerts on account and address, uh, let me take an example of account and show you how alerts work on account. I'm going to close this window and go to accounts, which is under sales. Click on accounts and I'll uh, take the active accounts. If you notice there are two buttons that are appearing on this uh, ribbon which is new alert and view alert uh, that, uh, that was created because uh, we have installed the alert solution. Now these are the list of uh, active accounts. I'm going to select uh, any of those uh, sample accounts. I'm going to select catalog store and in order to create a alert for this catalog store I need to click on new alert. You can also open this account and create an alert if you choose. The button appears here so you can do either ways. You can actually uh, select the account you can actually select the account from here or, or you can click the account and uh, you can create a new alert. Let me do it from here. 
I create I selected catalog store and I want to create a new alert. Uh, it will take me to a new window where uh, I need to give the description uh, description as in the information that you would like to pass on to the person who opens this uh, particular record. I'm going to say please follow up the uh, renew product renewals. Uh, if you want to set the expiry date, just click on uh, tick, tick box it and give the expiry date. Uh, I'll select as July 5th. I'm set. If you want to create this as a pop-up alert, you can check tick box this pop-up so that whenever you open an account, an alert is, uh, alert pops up. And the type of alert you want to set, whether it is informational, warning, or critical. Uh, I'll hit as critical and then I'm gonna save this. You can also reset this and uh, you can once again fill the uh, entire data if you choose. I'm gonna save this. Okay, uh, it got saved. Now I want to view the alert. You can view the alert from the view alert here or you can also open this and you see see there are uh, alert messages created please follow up the product renewals uh, since I've uh, saved it twice it appeared twice so this is how alerts uh, pop up because since it is a pop-up alert you can see this and this pop-up uh, uh, appears until this alert passes the expiry date now you can as well click on view alert and you can check all the alerts that have been created. Uh, see th these are the active alerts and uh, you can filter uh, the alerts like you can check the expired alerts, inactive alerts, pop-up alerts, all alerts related to this particular account. And the, uh, the other beautiful feature uh, of alerts is like you can uh, select this particular uh, alert and you can uh, you know make it you can activate it or you can inactivate it and as well you can create a new alert from here so you can do everything just by few clicks right from this window that's how alerts is very user friendly and very effective for sales personnel to you know pass on the critical information to the team members that's it about alerts if you need uh, more details on alerts, you can always uh, write to us uh, at MTC sales team at the rate mtccrm.com. Thank you. Have a nice day.